I wasn't texting, I wasn't using a cell phone, but I still killed someone. I was 17, prom was coming up, I was ready to leave high school. I was excited about the summer and going off to college. My mom and dad were both teachers and they, they met um, at an elementary school where they were teaching. People would describe him as a gentle person. He was my dad. He was a great dad. He was the greatest dad I could have had. I was on my way back from my clarinet lesson. I was hungry, so I was looking at my GPS. All throughout high school, he was there for me every step of the way. He coached me in sports. He was there for every single one of my games. My car drifted into the breakdown lane on the side of the highway, and I hit a man, and I killed him. Um, I'm responsible. I was six months pregnant when my dad died. I knew he was going to be such a fantastic grandfather. And when she smiled for the first time, he wasn't there to share it with. When I was driving, you know, I had a choice. I, I could have pulled over to the side of the road just a few seconds. It, it makes, it changes everything. It's just, I think the hardest part has been raising a baby and knowing that he, he wasn't there to celebrate those beautiful moments. I think about my friends, I think about the choices they make. Um, they think it's not gonna happen to them. My mom has this incredible grandchild but she can't share it with her husband. She doesn't have that partner. Learning that he had a family, that he had a daughter, a daughter that was about to have his first grandchild, um, that he was about to be a grandfather, and I took that away from them. I, I caused his, his death. I think of all the things that my dad has taught me and about the love that we had as a family. Distracted driving is a choice and it's a selfish one to make. 